going on? It's energy. Welcome back for some more kitchen fun. We're in the kitchen again. Today we're going to be doing a little some cooking, but we're not going to be doing a cooking video and a new recipe. Because see, um, I was about, out about this morning with husband. We were just doing making a few errands and the list of today's menu actually um, kept adding on to it. And I said, you know what? Why not do a video on how it is I go about cooking um, a lot of different things for in like one particular day. So what I mean by that, today's menu, dal and rice, it's out of a dal and rice bhaji. Then he's like, well, he like a little booty in it, why not make some booty? And I was like, well, I have some smoker and tomato in the um, fridge, so why not make some smoker, smoker and tomato as well? And then I decided, why not make some onion chow with it as well? So basically the menu today is dal, rice, smoker and tomato, bhaji, and some booty with onion chow and of course we're going to make a little cute cut up a little cucumber with it so i thought why not show you guys a video on how it is i go about preparing those seven things in a short space of time because i know a couple of you ask um you know how it is i go about cooking like all these different things together and how do i manage in the kitchen so i just thought i'd do a video and talk to you guys and show you all give you all some tips and some ideas on how to make a lot of stuff without any sort of frustration or flustering yourself. So let's get into the video. Before we jump into the video, of course, you guys know you all have to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. Why must we do this, Jenna? Well, hitting the bell notification button just ensures that you get notified every time I post a video. So you won't miss out on any of my videos. You will be sure to see it when I post it. And of course, you'll get to watch it and share it with all your friends and your family. So basically, with any cooking or any meals, um, any sort of day cooking plan and you do it you should involve some they should involve some sort of prep before so if you do any meats per se you know you could have the meats cut up and prepared in your fridge or your freezer some people even choose to season it and also refrigerate it I prefer not to season it I will probably cut it up parcel it out and put it in um, but like today we're just gonna be preparing stuff while we cook in other stuff so let's get started so I can show you what exactly I mean so the first thing I'm going to be doing, right, for this list of um, menu items is put the rice and the dal up to boil. So the rice will normally take like 20 to 25 minutes. So if you're like me, I'm like very soft rice. I leave mine for some up to 40, 45 minutes, even an hour. That's just because I like very soft rice, but that's not normal rice cook time. And the dal will take a little while to boil and get soft. So, while this is up on the stove, I also put the um, water up here to cook the um, smoke herring. We're just going to leave that just for 5-10 minutes or so. And while that is doing, the next thing we're going to be doing is preparing the body. So we're going to cut up the body. And thankfully these days, Baji or Dashing Bush is actually now sold all cut up for you. So they have come like this. You all probably, I'm very certain you all saw this in the grocery so many times. So I'm not going to really buy it, I'll buy the whole one and cut it up. So even if I did have the whole one and I needed to cut it up, I would do so while all this is up on the stove. So that's like say 45 minutes you have while these things are cooking to prepare your other um, items up that we're going to be using in the menu. So we're going to cut up the body and we're going to cut, prepare the tomatoes and we're going to make the onion chow. I'll actually show you guys how I'm making the onion chow because, chow because so many of you Keep commenting on my Instagram photos asking about it and I have a video up but I'll just do it again to show you all how to make a uh, onion chow. So in goes my rice. I usually add salt. I know some people don't add salt to the rice but I do. Split peas, salt, black pepper. All these videos you can find up on my channel already. I'll post the links down below. So pepper, onion, garlic goes in there as well, some pimento, so we're going to let that cook. I usually add a little bit of olive oil sometimes as well. And in goes my smoked herring. This does not require much time in the, um, to cook, to boil. So while everything is up here, let's work on cutting up and preparing the other stuff. So we pick this up, booty in the um, supermarket. We'll rinse it out, wash it out, and we're just going to cut it up into small pieces. 
probably gonna use all of this he likes booty and yeah well okay so I was going to cut it up and then this guy wants to be part of the don't get fooled guys he does not usually do this he's just assistant <laughs> that's okay no how long will this take for you to cut up the energy huh? let's say to the second Oh no! Ada bing, ada boom. Body done. You need notes? No. Now I like to cut up in different sizes, guys. That's wrong. Some will cook a little softer, and some will maintain the crunch. So ideally, you should cut them same size. That's what I did. So that they have even cooking um, throughout. But you see the problem with that is not all these strings are the same length. Well, you do it individually. Nobody got time for that. So, you know, if you have a couple not so even, it's okay. You call it Sirwa. Call it what? Jenna, you don't know these old tubes, you know? What is Sirwa? Sirwa is sauce. How does that have anything to do with color? You've already got all the sauce. <laughs> To that, guys. <laughs> guys, want you to go out? I'm a certified chef in this house. No, no, no. Hey. So, while this is going, the salt smoker is already finished boiling, so I'm going to turn that off. And I can actually cook the medium fruit. We're going to cut up the tomato right after this. But it's actually a very good trick if you have limited time. You get somebody to help. That's it. And if they have nobody to help, like some people have nobody to help. Well, then you're not, you're not sure. No, no, no. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, it might look and seem intimidating, sound intimidating to make dal rice, mukai, and tomato, bhaji, onion chow, and bodhi. But it's really not so hard. Is it hard? Like, uh, can you handle it? Me? No, I can't. But I won't cook so much things at the same time. Yeah. And I, that's just me. I go crazy in the kitchen. I, Literally go crazy sometimes. I'll start with two things and a three, four, five, six. That's how I, I am. And I actually love doing it. Food is completed. As Very good. As possible. I'll cut up this bit too? No, not yet. I have to cut up tomatoes. Well, you good to go. Yeah. So, thanks for your. Wait, wait, wait. You find this thing pre cut already? This is a big time saver for sure. No, no, so, no, no. This is just different if it pre cut you. <laughs> Yeah, but I would usually cut it up. So all now we cut that up. Okay, guys, I buy so, this. Some yeah. garlic in it already. Yeah, this is actually a kalu right. pack. Eh? So they have the kalu pack. So this, I, but I just use the dashing bush from it just because I feel like eating down the rice and bhaji. But this is kalu pack and it just goes so just through everything. I'll make, I'll freeze the pumpkin. So I'll cut the pumpkin into pieces and I'll put it in the freezer actually. I've done that before and then cook it like beans and stuff. And then the okra, well, we could just use the okra and anything. You can make a fish bowl. Exactly. Then I just catch and cook fish broth. Yep. Cool. So the next thing is just to cut up these tomatoes. Not much because there's not much smoker in too. And I'm going to be putting a little more um, smoker in it. Use the more smoker in it. So she's going to be cutting up these three tomatoes. The husband, see, he's hungry in the background. Fish. Oh. <laughs> he's talking about the fish. So if you also didn't see my grandmother's smoke herring and tomato video, I'll post that down below for you all. Ever since I was younger, she would cook smoke herring tomato and for the hundred million time, that's my absolute favorite thing. So I'll post it for you all so you can go check it out. So tomato's all finished. Next, I'm going to be cutting up the onions and the garlic and the pepper that I'm going to be actually cooking everything with. So, I like to have my small bowls. So I've got these small bowls. And I have one for the uh, body, one for the smoker and tomato, and one for the bhaji. So I'm just gonna cut everything up and put them in. I just like to parcel it out as in, well, say parcel it out, you know what I mean? So I'll post the links to all these little kitchen gadgets that I'm using down below. You can get them on Amazon. So I'll post the link down below, especially this bubble blade knife here. Every time, well, not every time, but a couple of times people actually commented and said, like, how do you manage with this huge knife? 
It was a little intimidating at first, to be honest with you, but it's super sharp. Is your knife? It really isn't my knife. So it actually was husband's knife, right? And I actually kind of stole it because it's real good. It's super sharp, but it really nice. Slice through, and they have different sizes. I will just add. Yeah, so they have a smaller one than this one. This one is a nine inch. She said that I'm holding here, but there's a seven inch. It's real nice. And yeah, it's intimidating, but you will love it. So as you can see, I haven't used anything else. So we'll put the links down to all of these small gadgets down below. You can check them out on Amazon. So I've got these stuff prepared. So this is for the baji, this is for the booty, and then this is for the smoker and tomato. So while the dal and the rice is still up, actually, we can cook the smoker and tomato because we have four burners on the stove. So I'm going to be using the same burner that I just boiled the smoker in, and we're going to cook the smoker and tomatoes in that. Vegetable prep completed. We still have the onion chow to do, but I'll do that in a short while. So we got the dashing bush. We have the onion and stuff, tomato, and the body. Food prep done. Let's cook it now. So I have the smoker and video up already. I'll post that. I'll post my grandmother's one as well, so you can see. So just a quick run through. And in goes the tomatoes. So I'm just going to reduce the heat now and I'm going to cover the pot and let that cook. So just a little time check. It is now 11.28. I started um, 10 to 11. Rice is almost finished. The split peas boiling. We cut up the dashing bush, the body and the smoke carrying tomato is up already. So while we're waiting, we're just going to work on the onion chow now. So with the onion chow is real simple. You can use as much onions as you like. You can use the red onions, you can use the sweet onions. If you don't, you can just use these regular ones. So what you're gonna do once you've peeled them is just slice them very thin. So I just checked the smoker in and it's finished, which is good. So we're going to cook something else as we continue to wait for the dal and the rice. So the onion thinly sliced. Next, we're going to be grating garlic in it. We're gonna pause with this and we're just gonna put our body up to cook. So the body, this one is real simple. I have a video of, I think I would have done curry body with some potato in it. But this one, I'm not curry in it. I am just going to be cooking it up with the oil and the onion and everything else. So the oil is in. Just add in the onion, garlic, pepper. And next, I'm just going to add in the booty. In goes some black pepper and some salt. Just covering the pot, I'm lowering the heat and I'm just gonna let that cook down. So another update, it is now 11.39. My rice, I'm going to take my rice off. And I have brown rice to cook after the husband because he does not, he prefers to eat the brown rice. I wouldn't mind, but definitely not for that. So once this is done for me, I'll put the um, brown rice up for him. So the next thing for the onion chow, we're back at the onion chow. Rice finished, the smoker in tomato, the body is up now, the dal is almost, the split piece is almost finished cooking. So we're just going to finish up with this. I say we have about half an hour again and then we'll have everything ready to eat. So this is just shadow benny that I'm just going to chop up very thin. And if you have a, a chopper, mini chopper, you can go right ahead and use that of course. And I've got a hot pepper. Now the hot pepper is to me important in this onion chow. Oh, that smells hot. I'm just going to use my knife and just kind of try to chop everything up even smaller. So once that's done, this pepper is fine. It's so good, my mouth is watering. 
I'm going to add it to my onion. Now the amount of pepper, you can play around with that, right? So I'm actually going to add a little more. Because this has to be hot. Next, I'm going to add black pepper. Salt. And important ingredient, lime juice. And all you're going to do is just mix it all up. This, people, when you have to, you just have to. Have to have it when you're eating dal rice, curry, anything, just dal rice, you must. Of course, Sam will disagree with me, but look at how this looking. Onion chow. So we're just going to cover this and refrigerate it until everything is finished. So more progress guys, we just have the last two, the bhaji and just husband rice is going to go up here to cook the dal. Just going to use a hand blender, blend that up and we're just good to go with that. Bhaji recipe, the video for that goes down below. It's real simple, oil in your pot when it heats up, add your onion, garlic, pepper, pimento. Now I know some people for the bhaji they actually add coconut milk in it. I don't, but you can. So I think that uh, contributes to the very green color of mine that so many people would normally comment and ask about. So once the onion and garlic is finished, nice and tender, we're just going to add in the dashing bush. Just add in some salt to the uh, dashing bush, some black pepper. We're going to turn the heat on, keep it on low, and we're going to cover the pot and let's let it cook down. That is, it takes a couple of minutes. So while we're in the last couple of minutes, 20 minutes, uh, half an hour of cook time, use this time to, if you want to do a salad, you can do a salad or clean up, actually. So try to clean up, I to go along too, so when you're finished, you don't have much stuff lying around the place makes them like easier and you just finish as soon as you finish you just sit down and you eat time check it is 12 18 so i started like 10 to 11 how long that is an hour and a half and what we have my regular rice his brown rice dal spokane tomato bhaji bodhi onion chow and some sliced up cucumbers no meat well no chicken, no duck, no goat kind of day. We have fish, salt fish, a smoke iron, I mean. But yeah, hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, corrected by the husband over there. And we did all of this. So it's really about time management. It's really about multitasking. I know that might be a little troublesome uh, for some folks, especially if you're like, now getting accustomed to the kitchen and cooking and all of that. But just try to utilize your time um best as possible so like how i did the put the stuff up to cook on the stove like the, the rice the dal let the smoke and boil and while that you have that time to prepare all the other stuff so don't get too flustered with it have fun of course practice i could not have probably cooked all of this in uh, our 120 minutes some years ago couldn't cook maybe a lot of stuff as much as i could cook now but um anyways so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just thought why not pick up the camera and show you guys how it is I go about put, cook, uh, putting together like a meal. So when I go crazy in the kitchen. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you go in man a time management. Do you cook up a lot of stuff like I do on a regular basis? If you do, what are some things that actually help you to finish faster? And do you clean and cook as you go along or you cook and then clean afterwards? I try to kind of clean while I'm cooking but never really goes so well and I end up having to clean up after not a lot of stuff but most times but for the most part it's all good having fun in the kitchen and that's just what all my videos are about just to show you guys it can be fun you don't have to stress about it just get in the kitchen and of course cook some food come out salty one day burn it one day that's okay most important thing is have fun in the kitchen so husband are you ready to eat an hour and 20 minutes so we're going to eat Thanks so much for watching as always. So he gave a little help with the booty. He gave a little, um, he gave some ideas, some tips there on Sarawak. <laughs> totally wrong guys. That's not the correct word to use in, in this 
scenario here as something totally different, but it's all good and well. So thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, honey. Oh, fun fact, I do not actually chunk it with my dad all the time. Yes, I know some people are going to come and say you have to chunk it dad, you have to chunk it with garlic, you have to chunk it with roasted and whole grain deer, you have to chunk it with both. I choose not to chunk it with my dad sometimes, just to eliminate that extra oil. So, okay. hey, it's all up to you. If you want to chunk it, go right ahead, but I actually don't chunk it with my dad all the time. Oh my goodness, look at my plate. Look at yours in the combined. I need to show it. You guys can no, see we us. need to show them. So this is mine. That is his. Must say it good anyway. This girl could cook. Thing to put in house. Wait, pushing house already, boy. I got to go.